Take a group of celebrities, throw in a few professional dancers, mix in some judges and drama, and you're bound to get some pretty wild results. Sabrina and Louie. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest Dancing with the Stars moments. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at some of the most surprising and memorable segments in this award-winning competition show. We won't be including any scandals or controversies that happened outside the show, since we have a separate list for that. Number 10. Kelly Monaco vs. John O'Hurley – Who's the Right Winner? It was the first season of this critically acclaimed series, and already the competition was heating up. Will it be John and Charlotta or Kelly and Alex? Find out live right after this. Although initially starting off the season without much fanfare, soap opera star Kelly Monaco made it as one of the finalists, facing off against the charming and talented television actor John O'Hurley. All right, John and Charlotta, Kelly and Alec, deep cleansing breath. Okay, here we go. With the winner to be decided by the viewers, victory went to underdog Monaco for a dance that was called the performance of the series. Kelly and Alec! Due to the controversial nature of the win, however, the pairs were again matched in an unprecedented face-off that shocked fans, especially after O'Hurley's surprise win. And ladies and gentlemen, I give you the winners of the Dancing with the Stars dance-off, John and Charlotta. Number 9. Willow Shields – Youngest Star Axed Too Soon Despite being the youngest contestant ever to appear on the award-winning show at the time, the young Hunger Games actress became one of the front-runners in the competition. Alongside professional dancer Mark Ballas, Shields delighted audiences with her passion, grace, and technique, adapting to dance style after dance style with a fervor unmatched by most of her fellow contestants. You might be the youngest competitor that we've ever had, but girl, you got some sass! That was awesome! <laughs> However, despite being headed straight for the finals, and being both a judge and audience favorite, Shields was eliminated in a stunning twist during Week 7, leaving the judges and her fans devastated. Number 8. Heather Morris's Shocking Elimination Season 24 frontrunners Heather Morris and fan-favorite dancer Maxim Shmerkovsky were a match made in Dancing Heaven, until they were brutally eliminated in a shocking twist of events. After a perfect score, Heather and Max. Despite having received the first perfect score of the season from judges, the votes were simply not there. Yet many questioned whether Morris, who had starred in TV dramedy Glee and who also worked as a backup dancer for Beyonce, should have been allowed on the show in the first place. In any case, we'll miss you, Heather. <laughs> Number 7. China Forgets Routine Singer China Phillips, a feisty member of the well-known 90s band Wilson Phillips, was favored to do well in the 13th season of Dancing with the Stars. With an ideal dancing physique and skilled partner Tony Dovolani at her side, all was going well until the fateful fourth week. Let the melody blow you all the way. With the dancers setting their routines to famous movie scores, China began a sultry tango to the melody of Mission Impossible, until she apparently forgot her routine partway through, resulting in awkward movements, confused steps, and mid-routine commands from her patient partner. Although they hoped for a second chance, America would have none of it, and they were eliminated. Number 6. Sarah Evans Bows Out It is country diva Sarah Evans and her professional partner, Tony Davalani. In September 2006, Evans joined the lineup as the series' first country music singer, quickly developing a devoted fan base and becoming a favorite of the judges with her charming manner and considerable talent. Although doing well in the polls, her appearance in the show couldn't have had worse timing, as marital problems with her husband of 13 years came to a swift and bitter climax, with a divorce that triggered her departure. You know, I was on the phone with, you know, my family all night, and, and we were all agreeable that you, you cannot continue the show. You can't leave your son, who's traumatized right now. It was a move that came as a devastating blow to judges and fans alike despite her apology and statement that she needed to give her family her full attention at that difficult time. I just needed to, you know, take care of my children, and I knew that. And I knew that nothing in my career, no television show, 
nothing was more important than that. Number 5. Swine Flu Disaster It was a season of persistent injuries and illnesses, but none quite so shocking as the contagious swine flu pandemic. Professional dancer Derek Huff was blindsided first, with what started as sweating and fatigue, and soon escalated into a crippling condition that left him unable to compete with his partner, Polish actress and model Joanna Krupa. More professional dancers soon fell to the ravages of the flu, with Lacey Schwimmer and Karina Smirnoff as the next to surrender to the sickness, and even one of the celebrities, singer Aaron Carter, in a season where no contestant was safe. Number 4. Kate Gosselin makes Tony Dovolani want to quit Oh, without a doubt I'm gonna prove them wrong. I'm gonna prove everybody wrong, including myself. <laughs> the tension and stress that come with hours of rehearsing and performing can get to a person, but this is where empathy, cooperation, and teamwork come into play. Apparently, no one told Kate Gosselin that. The frustrated reality TV star and best-selling author could just not get along with her professional dancing partner Tony Dovolani, complaining and berating him for his inability to teach, leading to an explosive exit that left fans shocked. How was it dancing with Kate? I think it was pretty obvious. <laughs> well, we did talk about it on Hot Topics. Although the two made up and stayed safe for the first few weeks of the season, they were soon eliminated in week five. Number three. Master P, Master of None. It's rap mogul Master P and his patient partner, Ashley Del Grosso. Best known as a rapper from the 90s, but most certainly not a dancer, Master P stepped in place of his injured son Romeo Miller as a contestant on the show, but quickly made his mark as a fish that was really, really out of water. It needs to be equal teamwork, and I can't, I can't play a tug of war anymore. <laughs> Although his long-suffering professional partner Ashley Del Grosso did everything she could, P's dancing hurt to watch, leaving him with the lowest all-time score from the judges with a measly 8 points. The viewers weren't as quick to give up on P, allowing him to make it all the way to week 4 before getting eliminated. Number 2. Marie Osmond Faints Dancing the Samba Marie Osmond and her partner, Jonathan Roberts. Having just finished a lively samba, complete with flushed face and heavy breathing, it was still hard to have expected this memorable moment that came just instances into the judge's evaluation of her dance with partner Jonathan Roberts. With Judge Len Goodman partway through his critique, Marie Osmond closed her eyes and collapsed to the ground. In a faint that left her partner, host Tom Bergeron, and the audience surprised and worried as the show cut to commercial break. All right, we're going to take a commercial, commercial break. break. Commercial we'll break. be right back, and uh, we'll be right back after this. Whether a ploy to gain extra points or a legitimate spell, it was still a moment viewers will not likely forget. Number one, Lochte gets ambushed. The biggest regret is letting other people down. And now I want to prove to the world that I've changed. Talk about unsettling. Yes, nothing is quite as shocking as the moment your show gets interrupted by unwelcome visitors, especially when these came from the other side of the television screen. As swimmer Ryan Lochte began his first dance with professional partner Cheryl Burke, two hecklers from the audience ran on stage wearing anti-Lochte shirts in protest of his behavior at the Olympics in Brazil. Despite being escorted from the stage, with loud protests coming from Judge Carrie Ann Inaba, Excuse me! Hey, back off! Excuse me! Excuse me! The incident left Lochte, the audience, and the viewers at home stunned and a little disturbed. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.